El Paso County officials gave an update on the current state and federal population at county jails. An official spoke on the recent decrease in federal population, which normally creates millions of dollars in revenue for the county. ABC 7's Ediberto Perez joins us live from downtown El Paso with the story. Ediberto. Good afternoon, Paul. Well, both the jail annex and here at the uh, downtown detention facility have a combined capacity for nearly 2,600 inmates. But according to officials right now, both have over 90% of their total capacity, and this creates a burden to the county. And Paul, uh, county officials also shared today some of the main factors behind the decrease in federal inmate population here in El Paso, such as an increase in booking levels compared to pre-pandemic numbers, increased time to resolve cases, and a rise in state inmate population. According to El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego, the federal government pays around $100 for every federal inmate daily, money that the state of Texas is not paying for state population inmates, leading to less funding as the federal inmates make up less and less of the total prison population. I asked county officials if migrant riots processed under state crimes had something to do with this increase in state population in El Paso. The, the riots, not as much as the human smuggling. The, the big increase in human smuggling is having the, the greatest impact on the jail population. I think right now we have over 300 in jail on state charges for human smuggling. So that, that I mean, that's a, a big chunk of the decrease in, in federal beds that we've had is due to human smuggling. Also. And Paul Stephanie, El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego also told me the county has dealt recently with, with federal crimes such as human smuggling turned into state crimes. I will show you more on the impacts the county of El Paso is seeing at both of their facilities on both jails coming up tonight on ABC7 after Monday Night Football. Reporting live from downtown El Paso, Eriberto Perez, ABC7. All right, Eddie,